here at Love Productions. And I'm here with uh, Justin Campione of Granite Haze of Mine and Rick Naya of the Hampshire Hemp Fest Freedom Rally. And this is the first meeting of the New Hampshire Hemp Fest documentary that hopefully will be out within the next six months. I'm hoping that's going to be the case. That's, that's the goal. Looks like it's going to be a little bit longer. Um, I just want to know, uh, guys, what is your uh, excitement level for uh, this doc? What, what's your hopes next? But, uh, your hopes for it, what, what, do, what do you guys think? Hit it, Justin. I want to create something that captivates the atmosphere of what Hempfest actually is. Um, you know, a lot of people have these pre thoughts about going into something like that, and it's really cool. Um, I hope to convey like a more accepting atmosphere uh, and present that as the face of New Hampshire, and I'd like to be a part of that. What about you, Rick? What's your hopes for this doc? Right on. Well put. I like those ideas. I think that was very well nicely said. Yeah. Well, for, for myself, I think for being an activist for over 30 years and knowing New Hampshire the way I do and knowing the two of you and uh, knowing what New Hampshire Hempfest means and our theme this year of love and giving and knowing what I'm hoping that we're going to accomplish uh, with this documentary. Um, I think what it means to me is bringing a sense of real liberty and freedom uh, to New Hampshire and the citizens of New Hampshire's voices to be heard and to share uh, the type of citizens that uh, are in the community uh, throughout, uh, from politicians to laborers and doctors and lawyers and business professionals and radio hosts and personalities throughout the country and why New Hampshire Hemp Fest and Freedom Rally was one of the top ten cannabis events in the nation. So I want to bring a, a sense of common sense um, uh, experience that we, we share there uh, uh, with, uh, with the world, with the country. And, uh, and that's what I believe we're going to do is prepare an award-winning documentary of how uh, New Hampshire Hemp Fest, how the citizens of the state, and how we collectively as a body of citizens and a family uh, bring forth a, 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 a a documentary that's uh, from our hearts that uh, will be felt uh, well, by many. We captured a lot of love at Hempfest, and just not just of the Hempfest, but of the people who are behind, you know, trying to get you know, uh, the state of New Hampshire to legalize cannabis. Right. And speaking of that love, I meant to do this on the last episode of the Rebel Love Show, and my apologies, I, I didn't get to it, but. Uh, one of the best camera, uh, best photographers at Hempfest, Peter Noonan, and his wife Margaret. And they went around, all right, and they got all the bands and everyone else to sign this for you. Oh man! That is from Peter Noonan and Margaret Noonan. Wow, that's an old Peter Tosh album. From, they got signatures from Twiddle, uh, Zach Deputy, Dopapod, and a bunch of others. This is amazing, man. Wow. This is really cool. I want to thank the Noonans very much for this, Peter and Margaret. You're very dear friends of mine. You've been with me for a number of years, and you know where my heart is. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for this gift. This means a lot to me. Uh, what's funny is that I used to live on Bracknell in Jamaica. 21 Bracknell, and just below me, on that island of Jamaica, lived Peter Tosh. I don't know if you knew that, Peter, but this is a gift that I hold very dear to me. My mom was a uh, very well known in Jamaica and was a director and ambassador of Jamaica. And I just want to say thank you very much for this gift. That means a lot to me. And just like it says on the back of the album, it's what I'm all about. To legalize cannabis in New Hampshire with common sense regulation and to keep it out of the hands of the politicians and allow the citizens of the state to have an economic windfall, to learn from the experiences we have throughout the nation, and to pass the word that cannabis isn't what it once was touted to be and it should be legalized uh, for adults uh, to use. And uh, that's why I do New Hampshire Hemp Festival and Freedom Rally, and I'm the executive director of New Hampshire Normal, New Hampshire Cannabis Company, New Hampshire Cannabis Foundation, and I've dedicated my life to bringing this common sense awareness to people throughout the country and here in New Hampshire uh, so that we might make it better for our children. 
so that we can keep them home and they don't have to go to different states to go use cannabis and they won't be thrown in jail and that we can really make some changes uh, for the future and uh, educate, bring industrialization, agricultural sciences, the insurance industries, the banking industry. New Hampshire has to be prepared because it's surrounding us and it's time. The time is now for a newer New Hampshire. And I want to thank you, Peter. This means a lot to me. I want to thank both of you very much. You guys all know where my heart is. And I think uh, those of you that know me and those of you that know, know me, you'll get to know us through the documentary and you'll get to know what New Hampshire is really all about and why we represent the state the way we do. And um, I just want to say thank you very much for working with me and well, it's sharing a, your lives with me. It's a pleasure and honor, Rick. And we're going to yeah, make, you know what it means gonna, to me. We're going to make this. We're going to make this doc. We're going to. We're going to. We're going to make this doc look absolutely beautiful, and we're going to show the love of what uh, the activists behind getting cannabis legalized in this state. Uh, and well, speaking it's of, it's not all about me. Remember, it's oh, about it's the not, we. It, it, yeah, it it's is. about the we. It Watch is. this documentary is not all about me or Tom Brown or Lori Morris or Frank Federico. Or Aim Larrabee or Mor Tory Minor. There's a lot of people that made New Hampshire Hempfest what it really is, and uh, uh, we all know that that it's about the yeah, we. We'll, and we'll show we'll show New Hampshire what that was there. Check out Spirit Love Productions on Facebook. Spirit Love Productions. For updates, same thing with Grant Hayes and Mines. Grant and Hayes and Mines. This documentary is coming, kids. It's what it's about. Spirit Love Productions is the production studio of Robert and Ann Mathias. We specialize in voiceover work photography, videography, social media direction, and much more. For awesome videos and photos like this, be sure to like our Facebook page at Spirit Love Productions. Love's the only way to set the spirit free. Spirit Love Productions.